and I'll clean the brush. Well, I've got that color mixed up and in mind, I'm going back in with the cerulean into a drop of white and I'm flicking that up underneath the area where the wave is already curled over and starting to collapse and that gives the sense of aerated water just as you get over the precipice where a waterfall is starting to cascade it soon lightens with the air bubbles that are in it. Now we've got the light coming through the wave I want to make it more convincing so I'm, I'm going to put the silhouette of a foam pattern riding up the back of the wave and to do that I'm going straight in to our dark mixture that we used at the base of the wave loading a little detailing brush starting at the top I'm going to work that down and into the darker area load the brush again that's a little bit more paint coming out that's an odd spot here and there and a little narrow broken dark line along that top edge and that is where the water is starting to curl over and it's just like the top edge of a wine glass the, th the thicker safety edge if you look at it hold the wine glass up you'll see there's a dark line underneath it and that is the angular refraction showing the darker tones up from underneath towards you before I go on to putting the foam patterns on the face of the wave I want to put a little bit of highlighting on the upper edge and on the back of the collapse just to define it from the background for that little drop of titanium white just a touch of the cadmium yellow pale mix that in perhaps a little bit more better than mixing too small amount than too much the cadmium yellow is a very strong color goes a long way there we are Clean the detailing brush, load that. Now I'm going to assume again that the, the light source is in the top left hand corner out of view, which will be the moonlight. And that will catch that fold as that is coming down over. That's the first thing I want to put in. And it will continue on down some distance we can always build on that in a moment don't be tempted to make it too even also where the wave is leading away out of the view don't keep that too straight put a little bit of curve on it I'm going to use the blue for that I don't want the yellow into white but I do want a bit more light touching that there we are for the foam patterns they're going to be influenced by the night sky so a little bit of our blue that we use for the wave touch of white and also some cobalt blue into that I just hold the knife with the paint on it against the painting a bit lighter try it again Yep, that is very narrow. I want to keep it fairly dark on the face of the wave because the wave is creating shadow on any of the foam patterns that are occurring on its face. So I'll take those in first. This will also give the sense of direction up around the curvature of the wave. Perhaps a little bit of wave that has ridden the face of the wave and gone over the crest into a larger brush. I'll take that down into that area. Still, this area will be in the shadow of the wave itself. 
further out, I'll lighten that. away from the focal point, less detail. Drag that up there. Just blend that in. All right, adding more white into that. Perhaps even a little drop more cobalt. and lightening again with some of our yellow into white. And I'll blend that away. Something in that manner. Even more. Beauty oils, you can keep adding, you mix, not only on the palette, but also on the canvas or board. I want to put a defining shadow line between the foam patterns on the surface of the water and the foam that is breaking on the leading edge of the wave. And I'm using the base color of the wave, that dark blue. And I'll just scrub that in, then there. And blend that out and that will give also at the same time the shadow on the foam surface. Going in to the other blue that I was using on the face of the wave for the foam patterns, just going in above that, scrubbing that in. Clean the brush slightly. Lighten the blue with a drop of white. And go in over the top again. Roughen it up, take it up that leading edge. That foam has got soft and hard edges, so some are well-defined, others just blended away. 